Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. We're here in Toronto, Canada at the March 1st Metals Investor Forum. Today, I'm with CEO Scott Treblecock of Core Mining. Scott. Yeah, the shoulder. <laughs> yeah, the, the elbow the bump. Elbow bump yeah, right? That's, that's right. what we're doing this year. So, uh, yeah, coronavirus, who'd have thunk, you know, the, the, the bubble markets were going to meet a pin sooner or later. It just happened to be named coronavirus. Right? That's right. I mean, I think all, all, all gold CEOs like myself are, yeah. hate to admit it, but we're all doomsdayers in the end. Yeah, know, yeah. Any, <laughs> any disruptions in volatility in markets are only going to be good for gold. Good, so, good for gold. That's, yeah, that's right. right. We're excited in the medium term anyway. That's yeah. right. That's right. So. Uh, you and I have interviewed before back in September, I think, was the first time. So this is a second interview, and I'm getting to know the company more. Uh, you are a gold production story. So I love gold projects. Anything related to gold, I think, is going to do very well. Your flagship project is in California, if I remember right. That's correct. The, the Imperial, Imperial Project. The yep. Imperial Project. So where, are we, where do things stand there? What, kind of get us updated on what's happening. Yeah, so since, since we last uh, met, which I think was in the September Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver, uh, we brought on a really great chief operating officer to run that project, a fellow by the name of Mark LaDuke. Mark did the project for Richard Wark in Castle Mountain. Oh, wow. That was acquired by Equinox. Yeah. So he's one of the rare guys in the market that knows how to operate in a junior company. So he's cost conscious. He's a heap leach expert. And he's worked in California. Wow. So yeah, he was kind of the perfect find. I was you know, happy to be able to attract him to the company. So he joined, he then picked up the project. He's got a budget that's courtesy of Macquarie Bank, who invested in our company back in May with the express purpose of advancing this Imperial project to production. And this is Macquarie, the lending bank. Right. So you know, they have a large US infrastructure book they're using to deploy onto the development of this project. So Mark's come in, he's got a budget, he's gone out, started the engineering work and the first real milestone coming out of that will be a PEA coming out in early April here. So we're really excited to show that to the market and showcase what the project's all about. Wow, that's great. Yeah, to get that PEA is a big step. So yeah, what, uh, where's your shares trading right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> no. that's 30% uh, down from where they well, were at the beginning of last week. Like, yeah, no, else. everybody's down, but you know, we're, just... Uh, yeah, we're 25 cents a share Canadian. It makes us just about a 23 million market cap company. But, you know, our argument why we think that should change over time is we're about to go from a situation where there's no economics around our core project, having that PEA out, which as you know, allows analysts to come into the story. We've done a couple site visits. Uh, one of your um, peers, Gwen Preston was down on site yep. in January. We've had five equity analysts out of Toronto come down to the project over the last couple months. And you know we're expecting to move into that world of you know developers where our peers are the other US gold project developers, which should point to hopefully some higher valuation for the company. Right. So one, one issue that's going to come up, you know, you're in California. So yep. everybody thinks regulatory, oh, California. I, I know otherwise. I've, I've seen projects get easily permitted if it's in certain areas of California. So yep. uh, what's, what's your situation? How, do, how does that yeah. work? Yeah. So the namesake county for a project is Imperial County. Okay. So the county in California, as you mentioned, as you said, is very important to permitting because the county applies California law to federal land. Right. And our project is on Bureau of Land Management land right. in California. So the county is very important. They imply, they imply environmental law and reclamation law, which are very strict in California. So we're happy to comply with all of those regulations. Yep. We have a great project. Uh, and then, you know, as you know, the BLM has been driven to be more practical to development by recent federal governments. Right. So I think we've got, you know, two parts of the equation, you know, on the permitting side where we've got support to go put a mine into production here. We just got to go through the land use permitting process in California. So yeah. we think there's line of sight to getting the mine permit. Cool. And and timeline to production, you know, what that would be the next question that investors yeah, are going to ask. Correct. You know, well, you get permitted, let's say you get the money you need, what would be the timeline to... We'd like to think two or three years yeah. is a practical time frame that, you know, you got to go through the process. We have to engage with stakeholders in the communities. We got to make sure that this is right. a development that Imperial County wants. Right. We comply with all the laws and then we should have a right to mine the project. Right. Uh, two to three years, you know, we're lucky in this case that we have water under yep. the property. There was a drilled water well by a past operator. Uh, the water levels are still in the same place. There's no local users. You're 25 miles from the nearest farm in the Imperial Valley. The only other local uh, water user is the Mesquite Mine which wow. is in the Equinox Gold Company. So right. I think we're in a good place with a lot of ingredients that point to line of sight to production. 
Perfect. Yeah. So your shares outstanding right now are eighty nine million straight 89. and about close to a hundred million fully diluted. We've got obviously some options to management and right. to motivate us to right. drive up share price. And we've got a few warrants, but they're priced at seventy five cents. They're not in the money yet. I'd love to get there and exercise those, but yeah. hopefully that's the uh, next step down the track. Yeah. Well, with, I think like I'm very bullish for gold, so I think you know there's very good chance that could happen. Cash in the bank, how's, how's the treasury? Yeah, we've got 3.1 million Canadian. Oh, so great. Yeah, we've got enough money to get the permitting rolling. We've also got a little extra money in the budget to do some exploration. So we've got a drill turning on one of our exploration projects up in British Columbia as of this week. Yeah. And we're looking to take a million ounce low grade deposit that was drilled in the past. Yeah. Drill out a higher grade component of it and extend it to depth and try and change the nature of that project. It's still exploration, but we're pretty excited about the potential results. And that's kind of benefit of Eric Sprott, who's a strategic investor in the company. You know, he likes to see grow resources in the ground and generate drill hits. So right. we've got a few things we're doing in the exploration side too that are some, that are exciting. Well, that is exciting. So I'll, you're on my watch list. We'll, Great. we'll keep you on, keep me posted. You got my card if well, anything I do, yeah. develops. Thank you very much. Keep Thanks me. for taking the time. And yeah, if you have a site visit, let me know next time you do a site yeah, visit. Yeah, it's it's we go out of Palm Springs or San Diego. It's, it's a nice uh, straight trip, so it's yeah. uh, nice and easy for people to come visit. And you'll see. Anybody comes see the project goes, wow, this is the kind of place in the world we should build mines. So. Yeah, perfect. Great. Great. Thanks, hey, man. man. Yeah. Great interview.